This is a feature video which will give a demonstration of how you can preserve the connections with Lasernet for a Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations refresh. And this solution will give a walkthrough of how you can have identical configuration in two Dynamics environments, but the Dynamics environments will be connected to different Lasernet instances. A benefit of this solution is that no manual setup is needed after a Dynamics environment is copied over another Dynamics environment. For example, when the prod environment is copied over a test environment. So now we're going to jump into Dynamics and have a look at the configuration. So at the top here, we have eight tabs. The first four tabs are for the delivery test two environment. And we can see here, this is the blue environment. And we have another four tabs at the top, which is for our delivery test three environment. In a more realistic scenario, you might have a test and production environment, uh, but in this case, we have a delivery test two and delivery test three environment. So starting with the environment setup, we can see here that we have three environments set up for three different Dynamics environments. We have test one, test two, and test three. We also have the connections for each one of those Dynamics environments. So we have an Azure Service Bus queue for uh, delivery test one, delivery test two and delivery test three. And a similar setup for the Azure storage accounts for delivery test one, delivery test two and delivery test three. And we can see here the connections are identical between delivery test three and delivery test two. Moving on to the LazyNet servers, we can see that we also have identical setup between delivery test two and delivery test three in that we have three servers set up for each of those delivery test environments. And just to show you delivery test three, we can see that this is also identical. And now we will generate a purchase order from each of those Dynamics environments just to prove that the connection is working. So we're going to resend a purchase order, doesn't matter which purchase order we use for this particular scenario. And then whilst this is generating, we will generate one from delivery test three. And we can see here that a purchase order has been successfully generated from delivery test two. And a purchase order has also been successfully generated from delivery test three. So now we're going to go to our LazyNet servers. And just to prove that the correct LazyNet server is being used in this scenario, we are going to deactivate this LazyNet server and try to generate the same scenario again but this time we would expect to see an error. So let's resend this one and have a look. And whilst this is generating, we'll also do a similar scenario in delivery test three, except in this case, we will disable our KT3, which is the LazyNet server, which is being used by delivery test three. And in this case, we would expect this scenario to fail as well. And whilst this is processing, let's have a look at our delivery test two environment. And as expected, the document has not been processed and we have been stopped by an error message. And the same case for delivery test three as well. So let's have a look at the configuration which actually determines which LazyNet server is used. So if we go under our condition fast tab down here, we can see that a code expression has been used to define when this LazyNet server should be used. So in this case, if the calculated environment is test two, which it is, then one, which means we'll use this LazyNet server. And then we've also got a similar setup for a delivery test three, except in this case, the calculated environment is test three. And then this would validate to true if delivery test three is being used. And as you can imagine, for the third environment, which we won't go into for this scenario, also has another condition in here, which says if the calculated environment is test one, then we can use this LazyNet server. And you can use this condition for as many environments as you want. In this case, we only have three in here, but the same principle will apply if you want to use more environments. And this concludes the feature video for demonstrating the preservation of connections with LazyNet for a Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations refresh.